Now then, bit of a project on here. Do you remember this? It's only a couple of months ago, or maybe a bit more, that I put this together. And it goes down to a piece of square box section there with this finial on it. I wasn't very happy with the finial. And then we've got this, um, which is a bonnet support from a car, but it holds the peanuts. Anyway, I want to take that finial off and put another piece of box section over that one or extend it in some way and have another form added to this. Yeah. And the original one had a Thunderbird. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look at what's left of the original and see if we can do something. I imagine that the next piece would come out at about 45 degrees to this dragon. So the wooden pieces will be fitted on the corners. Okay, let's see how we get on. So I've dug out that wing there. I've only got one, but obviously there'll be a pair. And there's the Thunderbird head that was on that old electric pole that sat outside the back, gar uh, back door. So we've got the Thunderbird head and we've got a couple of feet type thing and what's left of the tail. So we've got some of the shapes there. So the next thing to do is to think about what steel we're going to use. So let's have a look at the selection. This is the rest of the piece that was used on that pole. Yep. But this piece of box section is the next size up. So we could use a piece of that. Take that finial off and we can slide that down over and then let me just get the Thunderbird head here we go this is all live and then we could do I don't know whether we can see oh yeah we can the sun's just come out really bright but we could do that on the corner so there's a plan and I've got to find some bits of wood to create these pieces the head the tail the feet not a problem we want something to do a pair of those wings and hardwood preferably right I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, these are the offcuts from when I did the wings for the dragon. So, yeah. So that one will do well. We can get a pair of wings out of that. We can get the head and that comes down a bit further to there and we'll maybe get the tail out of that and we just need to find a few offcuts for which will probably go there maybe I'm not quite sure for the feet so I think we're sort of we'll just carry on from where we were I'm going to mark out the wings just trying to think the best way to do that. Anyway, I'll offer a, I'll offer a wing up to this board, mark it out, and cut it on the bandsaw. You don't need to see that. You've seen it before. So we get two wings out of that, and we'll get a, 
the head out of that. Yeah. And we'll get a wing and a, a foot. Just uh, that's a bit. No, we won't get everything out of this, but we're going to get quite a bit. Right, let's crack on. Right, okay, as you can see we've got some blue marks here, so the head goes there, yep, and a wing, and I've used the sanding disc to create some features on there, the wing will go like that, yeah, and so we'll have a We'll have a strap from there across there, we'll have a strap from the wing and across there and at the back. There we go. And then the, the feet go down there and the tail goes at the back. And I thought the best thing to do would be to work all this lot out and put it together and put the straps on and then decide how long this piece of box section needs to be once I've um, offered it up and decided this that and the other okay so I'm going to cut some strap and weld it on and a couple of stainless screws paint the strap probably and um, we'll get on with this Okay, all the straps want to coat of paint, but we've got two wings and the head on. So now we've got to fit the talons and the tail, and then decide how long this piece of box section needs to be. So this integrates with the dragon. Right, and that's just sort of thin strapping, galvanised strapping, just tacked in place. I assume I'll take the screws out and give everything a good grinding down and trim stuff off where it's not necessary. Like for instance there on top of that wing. Whoop. There. We can cut back to that weld there just to tidy that up. But I'm just experimenting really. Yeah, and just seeing how we go. And then once the, uh, the wood's removed, I can round all the corners off. I'm just trying to get the proportions right. Everything in the right place. Until you see it, you're not quite sure. Right, it's a bit windy. But we've got one of the feet here. And... Hopefully we'll see the feet fit on a flat surface so I don't want it to interfere with the head 
So we're going to have to put the foot there, which means that from the top of the foot to that point there is 10 inches. Okay, so that gives us a distance at which to cut the bottom of that box section off. And then we can cut a slot around that, which will be a nominal four inches. Okay, right, we've got a plan. I was wondering how I was gonna work that one out, but it was a lot more simple than I imagined. So there you go, 10 inches to there, which is great, and can we see alright? Yeah we can, we can zoom in a bit, there. So I drilled a hole and a recess in one of the feet, or the feet, and then we just used the tech screw, driven in by the impact screwdriver, straight through there into a hole that I drilled in this steel smaller diameter and it just screwed in and that will do so now the next thing to do let's have a look in the viewfinder oh yeah what we've done is cut back a lot of those straps so now I can take all the wood off and I can treat that with diesel to uh, make sure these woodworm don't uh, have a nice time and then I can grind back all those bibbles of weld and because it's then on the floor I can do the welding quite nicely I can grind the surfaces and don't have to deal with the uh, the galvanizing so we'll tidy that up then paint the piece of box section after having cut it off there with the power hacksaw which you don't need to see because you've seen my power hacksaw loads of times but I will refer to the power hacksaw that Uncle Harold made when he was an apprentice and there is a video about that I mean talk about ingenuity and just making it from whatever you've got it's absolutely brilliant so check out I'll put it in the description if I remember check out Uncle Harold's hacksaw yeah you'll be just amazed if you've not already seen it right we're getting there we're on the home stretch so I'll take this apart I'll grind that up uh, and weld it up and paint it and get back to you Right, there we go, that's all soaked in a bit of red diesel, yeah, and the steel's all painted up, so we'll just wet, wait for that to, uh, especially for the paint to dry off, and then we'll put it in place. Seems like we're nearly there. There we go. I'm not quite sure about the tail, but it's done. Right, let's put it in place.
There we go. I'm fairly pleased with that. Have to go this way. Comments, discussion, tell me what you think. Design, form, and I will catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.